This is part 1 of link to XML tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how easy it is to create an XML document using link to XML. First, let's understand what we mean by this term functional construction. Functional construction is the ability to create an XML tree in a single statement. So let's see how to create this entire XML tree in a single statement using link to XML. But before we do that, let's look at the classes that we will be using to construct this entire XML tree. To create the XML document itself, we will use a class called xDocument. And within the XML document, you know, this first line is called as the XML declaration. So to create this XML declaration, we use X declaration class. And here we've got an XML comment. To create an XML comment, we use X comment class. And here we have got students root element. And the root element has got student child elements. So to create a root element or the child elements, we use this X element class. And then notice this student element has got an ID attribute. So to create an XML attribute, we use X attribute class. So all these classes are present in this namespace, system.xml.link. So let's see how to create this entire XML tree in a single statement. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So here I have a new console application. First, let's bring in that system.xml.link namespace. And now we want to create an XML document. So I am going to make use of X document class. Let's call this XML document equals new XML document. And if you look at this class, there are four overloaded versions, but we are going to use this overloaded version, which has got this params parameter. So we can pass as many arguments as we want. So the first thing that we want within the XML document is the XML declaration. And to create that, we use X declaration class. And then notice this XML declaration has got the version encoding and, and whether if it's standalone or not. Okay, so let's create a new X declaration object. And we are going to make use of this overloaded version. So the version of the XML is 1.0. And the encoding is UTF-8 and it's a standalone one. So that will create this XML declaration. Okay. After that, we want this comment creating an XML tree using link to XML. And to create the XML comment, we use X comment class. So we are now going to create an instance of X comment class. And then we specify whatever comment we want there. So what is the comment? creating an XML tree using link to XML. So let's copy and paste that there. So after the comment, what we want? We want this root students element. So we are going to make use of X element class. Okay, and what is the name of the element? It's going to be students. So students and that root element should have you know this child element student so we are going to now create another x element instance notice that we are not closing the constructor of this class okay so the x element that we are going to create now is going to be child of the student's root element okay so new x element now the name of the element is going to be student and if you notice the student element has also got id attribute so we are not going to close that instead we are going to create an instance of x attribute and then what is the attribute name we want we want id is the name of the attribute so id and what is the value id 101 so 101 so that should create the student element with um, you know ID attribute and that value. So once we have the student element, within student element, we have got three more elements, name, gender, and total marks. So we are not going to close this constructor yet. So we are going to put a comma there and then create another new X element. And the name of it is going to be name. And what is the value that we want? mark so mark and we want gender 
total marks okay those two elements as well so I'm just going to make a copy of that one so here it's going to be gender and this one is going to be total marks okay gender is going to be male total marks is 800 okay so now this should create the first student element now we want the second student element so what I'm going to do is put a comma there and then take this and make a copy of it okay that is going to be our second student so for second student the ID is going to be 102 let's look at name gender and total marks name is Rosie gender female and 900 so name is Rosie female and 900 total marks okay similarly we can create the other two student elements as well so let's make a copy of this one and let's make another copy okay so the ID is going to be 103 here the ID is going to be 104 so for the third student name is Pam female 850 so here name is going to be Pam female and the marks are 850 and the fourth student is John male 950 so John male and the marks are 950 so now we have all the four student elements now we need to close this root element constructor and the XML document constructor so we need two more closing brackets and that's going to end with a semicolon so now we have the XML document okay so notice this entire statement is a single statement okay now let's actually save this XML data to an XML file let's actually save it to this folder itself the project folder so let's open the project folder in Windows Explorer so that's the complete path where we want to save the file so this XML document object has got save method so XML document dot save and to this we specify the name of the file so then the path is going to be that and then within that let's call the file data dot XML and since it's we are using a backslash here there is no escape sequence called backslash D so that's why it's giving that compilation error so use a verbatim literal or you can use double backslash whatever you prefer but I prefer using verbatim literal because this makes your code more readable okay so now let's go ahead and run this so we don't get any output but it should have created that XML document and to see the XML document click on this icon show all files so notice that we have the XML document now when we double click that look at this it has created an XML document that looks like this we've got the XML declaration XML comment students is the root element and within that we have got four student um, you know elements and each student element has got name gender and total marks as the child elements that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day